Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing another reading for you guys. I decided to look into each single zodiac sign and uh, see what's coming towards you for this month of December. We are going to be tuning into uh, the energy of my spirit that has already been called. So let's get right into your readings. Uh, these are predictions for the month of December and all the way to January 20th. 21. I mean, 2022. These are going to be predictions for December all the way to January 2022. All right, so let's get into it. How are you guys doing, my lovelies? Hope you guys are doing amazing. I am so excited, not just because I'm a cappy, right? <laughs> uh, by the way, I want to uh, wish every single Sagittarian out there happy birthday, my lovelies. Let's get into the readings. We're going to do all 12 signs. So we're going to look first into Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is unfolding for them? What can they expect? Please give us predictions for the month of December 2021 all the way to January 2022. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, here we go. First card is Eight of Cups. So this is talking to me directly about walking away from a situation, a circumstance, or a person. We have the World card. So there's a culmination here. I see you guys walking towards bigger and better things for the month of December. This may indicate concluding certain connections, relationships. Um, this can also indicate uh, right when you're getting ready to walk away or to see what's out there in regards to career and finances. I feel like there may be an unexpected turn of events where uh, you're recognized, where you are um, recognized for your hard work. Uh, a race may be coming around the corner for others of you, bonus, uh, you could be expecting. And we also have here the Ace of Cups. So the Ace of Cups is definitely a love offer, but it can also indicate uh, wish fulfillment in regards to feeling emotionally, um, feeling emotionally accomplished. So I definitely see a major transformation that's coming for you, Aries, when we're talking about career and finances. I feel like some of you guys may actually finally get that position you've been wanting. For others of you, this could represent the desire to uh, feel like you are at a point of major stability and there is some type of transition that happens. So I see for some of you guys movement. Uh, for some of you guys, there may be a changing of residency, getting a new house, moving to a new apartment, that type of uh, energy. I'm definitely sensing an elevation of status here. So uh, as an example, if you are in a relationship, you're quickly going to be going into a more committed relationship. For those of you guys that are casually dating someone, you may go into some type of commitment or higher elevation of commitment. And like I said, for those of you guys that are wanting to know about business and career, there's definitely a major um transition that happens there is an elevation of status here that is unfolding for you Aries out there so beautiful energy let's keep it moving let's see uh Taurus sun moon rising and Venus what can they expect give me some of the predictions that are going to unfold for Taurus for this month of December all the way to January 2022 here we go first card it is the nine of cups so a wish fulfillment that is unfolding for you guys. There is something you've been hoping for, wanting, wishing, or trying to manifest that is definitely going to come through for you guys. And this resonates very strongly with the reading that we did for you guys for the month of December, where there is almost like the sky's the limit for you guys right now. There's a lot of powerful manifestation type of energy here that is unfolding. The next card that we have here is the Sovereign of Cups. So this is the Queen of Cups. You may be dealing with a water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. For others of you, this is you being ready, being ready and open to receive this manifestation, to be able to receive uh, what you've been hoping for, what you've been working very hard towards. I feel that there is a feeling of accomplishment here. It's like a pat in the back, feeling proud of yourself. So whatever it is that you're doing, Taurus, continue on that path because you will definitely see the results and the results are going to be amazing for you. Finally, your next card is the judgment card. So the judgment card is being able to see the manifestation. It is a representation 
of finally being able to see the fruits of your labor, finally being able to see that relationship that hasn't been working out for a while, or perhaps has been kind of unstable, finally stabilizing. It is getting that job or that promotion that you've been working very hard towards achieving. It is being able to uh, financially, um, financially feel secure and feel stable. So major, major potential here for you, Taurus, out there. Beautiful energy. All right, let's get uh, to Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Give me some of the predictions that are going to be unfolding for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of December 2021, all the way to January 2022. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, one more. Thank you. All right, here we go. The first card that we have here is the Seven of Coins. So this is reaping what you've been working what effort or energy you've been putting towards finally being able to see the result of it. Uh, this can also indicate for some of you guys, um, really taking inventory, taking time to see how far you've come from past experiences. And what I'm hearing is if you're currently going through a difficult situation or a situation where it's almost felt like you've been stuck for a while, that's not going to be the, that's not going to be the case anymore. There is almost like a releasing of the stagnant type of energy and being able to fully see that it was worth it, that it was worth your hard work, your uh, holding on to faith and, and believing in yourself. You're finally being able to see the fruits of uh, your patience is what I'm hearing. Now, the next card here is the Seeker of Cups. So this is a message that is coming through for some of you guys. This could be that you've been reminiscing about the past for some of you guys even uh, if you're wanting to hear, wanting to connect with someone from the past, I definitely see them coming through. They are definitely going to be communicating with you or reaching out to you. But this can also indicate um, being able to see uh, or get information that is going to help you lead uh, without hesitation towards the focus or the goal that you're trying to achieve. Um, I'm hearing manifestations very strongly here. Yeah, exactly what I was just sensing. And finally, here we have the Magi, Magi, uh, which is the magician. And this is the understanding, the knowing of your full power and potential. I'm going to be honest with you guys, Gemini. Um, what they're saying here is for the month of December and January, focus solely on what you want to make happen, not what you don't have or what's gone wrong in your life. It's time to start manifesting to your full potential because I feel that December and January are going to be major months for manifestations for you guys. Um, so really be cautious about your state of mind and what you're putting energy towards, okay? All right. Let's go to Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is it? Some of the predictions that are unfolding for them for this month of December 2021 going into January 2022. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Predictions. Oof, okay. First card is the Sovereign of Wands. You are being empowered, Cancer. You are really feeling yourself. You are more confident. You are radiant, uh, radiating uh, confidence. This is empowerment type of energy. This is knowing what you deserve. This is owning, you know, believing in yourself and knowing that you deserve nothing but the better. Do not settle in the month of December and January. Your next card here is the Sovereign of uh, Swords here. This is the Queen of Swords. Okay, so this is something that you guys need to be very cautious about. When I see more than one queen in a reading, especially in a three-card reading, uh, rumors, major rumors. Um, so I'm hearing that there's going to be a lot of talk about you. Uh, this could be people around you. This could be family. This could be relatives. And I see you very like in your feelings about it. Um, but what Spirit is telling you is rise to the occasion. Um, let whatever the fuck they throw your way slide right off of you, Cancer. Uh, stay in your power. Don't let anyone break your confidence or break the trust that you have in yourself. I feel like you've been going on this journey of transformation. Um, and the, the test to that is going to be having to deal with criticism, 
And I hear very strongly, like people are going to be critiquing you up and down. They're going to be uh, spreading rumors or saying things about you. Don't be, or don't take this as a surprise if it actually comes from relatives or people close to you. Uh, but don't take it as negative. Uh, learn to grow a thick skin. Learn to uh, be okay with, you know, self, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Constructive criticism. Um, of course, if they're doing it out of spite, like I said, let that shit roll right off of you. Your next card here is the eight of coins. You continue on gathering your coins, Cancer. Continue on being focused and determined on what you're trying to accomplish or what you're trying to do. What I'm hearing for you, Cancers out there, strongly is stay focused. Don't let distractions deter you from the path that you're currently on. All right. Now let's go to Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, my lovely Leos. I did a uh, post on my Instagram for those of you guys that follow me on there. A lot of people were really shitting on Leos, um, which I found to be very amusing because honestly, um, all the Leos that I have in my life and that I've had dealt with in my life have been nothing but amazing souls have been nothing but loyal to me have been nothing but extremely good to me uh, maybe they think the worst of us capricorns <laughs> and i take full responsibility for that um but i was so like thrown back i was like wow people <laughs> leos really do carry that reputation um i don't know to me you guys are amazing all right let's see what are some of the predictions that are going to be unfolding for leo sun moon rising venus for the month of December all the way to January 2022. One more. Okay. Thank you. Here we go. First card here is the higher font. So there is a higher elevation that is happening here for you guys. For some of you guys, this is the learning or the mastering of something new. For some of you guys, you may be learning um, a new language. You may be wanting to learn or train is what I'm hearing. For some of you guys in the business or career that you're in, uh, someone may want to take you under their ring, under their wing. I said under their ring. It is the hierophant. So for some of you guys, commitments are coming through as well. Uh, but what I'm hearing here is if at work or where you're currently working at, someone wants to take you under the ring, under their ring. I keep saying that under their wing and they want to teach you or train you. Take that opportunity, Leos, because this is definitely going to open new fucking doors for you. Um, take and become a sponge. Take as much information as you possibly can. Now, the Hierophant can also speak about higher elevation of commitment. So for some of you guys, commitment's on the way. Uh, from now all the way to January, for some of you guys, congratulations, you may be getting engaged. Next card here is the full card, setting out on a new journey. Uh, this is beautiful energy, you guys, with the Hierophant and full. It is like you are finding your path. You are finding your purpose. You are setting out on a new journey, um, inspired, uh, very passionate, very intense. For some of you guys, those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, from now to January, uh, they're definitely telling you that the passions may be flaring up very quickly. A person may be coming into your life or you may be going into someone's life. Uh, for some of you guys, this could also represent a relationship that starts, starts off at a distance. By the way, you guys, I'm so sorry if I'm talking really fast, but usually when I'm channeling and I'm opening my psyche, um, a lot of information rolls through, so I have to kind of catch up. <laughs> and so, um, but I'm definitely seeing major transformation, new beginnings for you guys, and uh, a lot of travel as well is what I'm hearing. The next card here is the Seeker of Wands. So this is the Page of Wands communication. I do see you guys here uh, with the full card. For some of you guys, unexpected road trips are coming up from now to December. Uh, sorry, to January. I'm even hearing February for some of you guys. Um, this is like taking on the spontaneity type of energy. So if there is a road trip, uh, if you are invited somewhere and you kind of have to kind of do a short trip, I feel like it's very unplanned or unexpected, but definitely to take those opportunities. For some of you guys, you may be meeting a person while traveling. So good luck to that. All right. Now let's go to Virgos. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Some of the predictions, please, for the month of December 2021 all the way to January 2022. What can they expect? Give me some of the predictions that are going to be unfolding for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. 
All right, here we go. First card is the two of cups. So there is a commitment coming through for you guys, for some of you guys, a soulmate type of connection. Um, what I'm hearing is for a lot of you guys, especially those of you guys that have misplaced your love, what that, when I hear that, it usually indicates you have a tendency of overgiving or overdoing for other people and they just don't know how to reciprocate. Uh, if you vibrate to this type of energy, there is definitely an energy of purity, of genuine, authentic love that's coming through for you. I feel this person is not in your life as of now. So you may actually meet or connect with a soulmate from now all the way to January. Uh, this can also represent the partnership for some of you guys, those of you guys that run your own business or started a new business. There may be someone that has their eye on you, uh, or I should say that has their eye on your brand or on your business. Definitely, definitely take that opportunity if they're wanting to collaborate, if they're wanting to work with you, or if they're wanting to partner up, this is the right time to do so. Your next card here is the Nine of Swords. Get out of your head, Virgo. I know I don't need to tell you guys this because I have Virgo in my placements. And let me tell you, you guys have a tendency of overthinking or overanalyzing. It's almost like sometimes you don't, you don't even know how to react uh, to certain situations. You kind of overthink and then you feel like, oh shit, I missed that opportunity because you were too much in your head. Um, with the Nine of Swords, this is an indication for now all the way to January. It's very crucial and important not to overthink. Be a little bit more spontaneous, Virgo. Be a little bit out of your comfort zone. It's okay. You will survive. And it's going to bring to you a lot of newness as well. The next card here is the ruler of coins. So this is the king of pentacles. Uh, this is you being empowered, Virgo. This is you being confident. This is you making shit happen. Don't drop the ball, okay? What I'm hearing is for a lot of you Virgos out there, don't drop the ball. From now all the way to January, stay focused. Don't miss opportunities. If there's an opportunity that presents itself to you, you're like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. You're back and forth about it. Take it jump on it, make that, you know, that leap. Um, because this is really, I want you guys to go into the new year, really taking chances. Uh, cause you have a tendency of, like I said, they're telling me you miss opportunities. So now it's the time not to sit there on your ass, but actually take action. Why? Because it's going to bring a lot of newness to your life. Not only that, but it is also going to place you in positions and opportunities or situations that are going to help you grow and further your career, further your finances, or further get into connection with that person that is right for you. All right. Now let's go to Libras. Oof. Hard off the bat, the Two of Cups again. <laughs> All right, Two of Cups. Um, uh, feeling weak energy here, so I'm going to put it back in the deck. Let's go. All right, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Some of the predictions for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for now all the way to January 2022. Some of the predictions, please, that are unfolding for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for now December 2021 all the way to January 2022. All right, here we go. First card is the Eight of Coins. Your focus on your career, your focus on your finances, your focus on your money. Stay your, put your nose to the grindstone, Libra, push yourself, okay? This is what I'm hearing from now all the way to January, 2022. You're going to have this opportunity to manifest major potential in your life, whether it's career, whether it's finances, whether it's relationships, but it's going to be crucial to maintain that focus. Do not, do not be too much in your head, internalizing, but as well, try the best you can not to be distracted. It's like now is the time to really put your nose on the grindstone and make shit happen. Major potential for financial stability here for you Libras. If you guys are, as an example, in the public eye, if you guys are on social media, if you guys are on TikTok, whatever the situation is, anything that has to do with the public, really put yourself out there because you're going to not only create a bigger following you're not only going to create you know traction and get attention but you're really going to have the opportunity to make those coins libra so now is the time to put bust your ass basically the next card that we have here is the eight of cups eight of cups is walking away from a situation or circumstances that no longer work or help you uh eight of cups can also indicate i see you guys going towards um, something that you've been working really hard towards, uh, and it's almost like setting out, it's, you're at this pivotal moment 
where there's certain things that you're not seeing unfold in the background, but they're quickly coming towards you. So again, uh, whatever's not working for you, let that shit go and continue on your path. Do not hold yourself. Do not wait for anyone. Do not sit there. If a relationship is not working now, stop holding on to it because what they're telling you is success is going to come to you through the release of letting go and surrendering to the process. Your next card here is the nine of wands. So the nine of wands is knowing your worth. It is no longer putting effort where it is unnecessary. If you've been working on putting effort in a relationship as, as an example to solidify it and it's just not working out, stop putting effort. Like stop, just let go, let things happen organically. If you've been putting effort and energy as an example towards career and finances and they're not giving you the raise that you're wanting or they're not giving you the opportunity that you want, it's time for you to start speaking up. It's time for you to speak up, but it's almost like walk the talk. Um, so again, if you're wanting that raise, speak up and say, you know what? I think it's time I get that raise. Why? Because I look at, look at my work, look at everything I've been doing. I've been busting my ass. I've been here on time. I've been clocking out the, 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 the last one to clock out, you know, show them through actions. And I guarantee you success is coming your way, Libra. All right. Now let's go to Scorpio. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising on Venus. Some of the predictions that are going to be unfolding for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of December 2021 to December, sorry, through January 2022. December 2021 through January 2022. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Predictions, please. Thank you. Here we go. We have the hanged man. Your perspective on things is changing. For some of you guys, you may be changing your what you've been trying to aim for. You may decide, you know what? I'm tired of putting effort in that relationship. I'm not going to be holding on anymore. I'm letting go. For others of you, uh, in regards to career and finances, you may have thought uh, that you had a limit or you may have thought that you had limitations. That is no longer going to be the issue. The universe is going to be showing to you the true potential that you have to manifest. Not only that, but sky's the limit for you right now. So really make things happen for yourself, uh, Scorpio. Release yourself from any blockages or any mental blockages that keep you from being able to experience the life that you're wanting. Your next card here is the Six of Coins. So the Six of Coins is exactly that, giving and receiving, knowing that you deserve to be happy and embracing it so that it can come through. Knowing that you deserve that stable relationship, that person that is going to respect you and love you and not holding on to anyone that's toxic, letting go and surrendering, and that will come to you. It is about knowing that you are putting as much effort as the finances that are coming in in your career and in your job or the job that you're doing. It is about being meticulous about what you do, having a clear crystallized vision of what it is that you're trying to draw in and surrendering and believing and trusting the process and it will unfold for you. It's almost like the six of... Coins represents to me, what we shout out is what the uh, universe is going to echo back to us. So be mindful about that. Your next card here is the Six of Wands, my lovelies. This is victory. So if you've been going or working very hard towards something or achieving something or making something happen, the month of December and January are going to be groundbreaking for you. Why? Because we have the Six of Wands here. This is major victory. This can also represent major accolades. This is getting attention or being acknowledged at work for your hard work and determination. For some of you guys, a major elevation of uh, position. So I see for a lot of you guys, this could represent uh, getting hired. For others of you, it could represent getting a higher position, getting a bonus, uh, getting unexpected incentives that come through for you guys. So major, major potential here for you guys to make money. All right. Now let's go to, oh, I already did Scorpio, <laughs> Sagittarius. All right. Give me one second, you guys. This is like going all the way up and I'm hot right now, you know? I'm hot. I'm definitely getting these messages very quickly. <laughs> I'm trying to take a deep breath because as the cards come out, the energy is flowing and it's, okay. All right, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Some of the predictions that are unfolding for them. 
for the month of December 2021 all the way to January 2022. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Sagittarius, Ooh, we got cards flying out already. Okay, we have the Ace of Swords. So there is a truth that's coming out. For some of you guys, this is speaking your truth. I feel like for some, uh, you may be dealing with a situation where you feel like you've had to suppress your emotions, your feelings, or expressing your true feelings because there is fear of judgment. For some of you guys, this could be fear of rejection. Uh, but the Ace of Swords is finally getting to the place of trusting yourself and knowing your worth. And I'm going to say what I need to say. They can take it however they want and they can do with it whatever they will. But I need to express that. So it's about speaking your truth, being completely honest and transparent about what you want, who you are, and what that person means to you. For some of you guys, it could be that you've been holding back emotions because you're scared of getting hurt. But this is you making the decision to fully embrace the truth. The next card here is the pillar card here. So again, we go back to exactly that. This is like knowing your power. This is about really embracing. Let me see. Give me one second, you guys. This is over here kind of falling. All right. Sorry, you guys, about that. So like I was saying, the pillar is that of the representation of the Empress, you guys. This is uh, major feminine energy. This for some of you guys could be the connection with your uh, feminine divine. For others of you, this is a soulmate type of connection. Uh, this is a connection that is based pure on love, genuine and authentic love. So I feel like with the Ace of Swords, there's a major transition that's happening for you Sagittarians where you're going to have the need to speak up before um, before you start to fully see the manifestations of a connection that is true and authentic. So I'm hearing soulmate type of connection here. For others of you, it is the understanding, the knowing, and the knowledge that you have the potential to manifest any type of financial stability or wealth even um, for some of you guys. So again, it is all about the power of your mind. Keep in mind, Sagittarius, from now all the way to January, be very cautious about your way of thinking. If you continuously keep going on this negative type of energy, that's exactly the experience you're going to have because you're so uh, powerful right now in manifestation. So again, I would highly encourage you guys to think positively, put energy towards being positive and optimistic. You're definitely going to see those manifestations happen quick. And finally, the two of wands. So again, partnership for some of you guys, this is a soulmate type of connection. For others of you, it's letting go of fear that has been holding you back from a connection. Um, drawing in or bringing in that connection and solidifying for some of you guys the one-on-one -on -one type of conversation. For others of you, this can also represent the partnership coming through that is going to create more freedom for you to be more creative in your endeavors. So if you guys run a business, have your business, you may be very inspirational right now, very inspired. Run with that type of energy because it's going to bring you major coins. All right, so now we're going to go into Capricorn. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me some of the predictions for Capricorn's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of December all the way to January 2022. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, here we go. Your first card here is the Seven of Swords. So the Seven of Swords is indicating to me for a lot of you guys, you are coming to the realization some truths are coming out. For some of you guys, people that have been kind of sneaky or haven't been completely honest with you, those lies are going to be catching up to their asses. And it's like you're realizing that or you're going to come face to face with some type of deception. What they're telling you here is rise to the occasion. Be better than that. Just let them go. That is their loss, and they will take it as a major loss. Why? Because there's a lot of regret with the Seven of Swords. Your next card here is the Conqueror of Swords. So this is information that's coming through for you guys, information about someone that has been deceiving or being a, a bit of a liar, someone that's been trying to paint some type of illusion. Um, this is basically that illusion crumbling. For others of you, this is you making the decision to pull away from people that are toxic, that are no longer worthy of your effort and energy. I'm hearing for some of you guys, if you've been dealing with the situation of a connection or relationship where it's been very inconsistent, what I'm hearing is let go, stop holding on to that. 
because the one that is for you is coming, is getting ready to make that connection, to draw in or bring you guys towards that same path. So stop holding on, okay? The next card here is the Five of Wands, and the Five of Wands is something that is going to escalate rather quickly. For some of you guys, sorry if you hear that in the background, it's the big ass door of the house opening. Uh, five of Wands indicates to me people fighting for your attention, people going out of their way to try to get your attention, to try to work with you, to try to, this is to me attention, it's not coming off as something aggressive. Although you may be dealing with a specific individual that is really wanting you and they're going to do what they have to do to be able to show you that they are worthy of you. So it's not so much of a negative aspect, um, but with the five of wands, this can also trigger some type of fight or argument with the person that's been very inconsistent in your life because they're starting to see you shine or they're starting to see that, that uh, you missed that opportunity is not really phasing you because you're going to keep it pushing. So I feel that there's major regret here and there is an, a, a, like an escalating uh, argument that may be triggered based off of jealousy, envy, um, envy, jealousy, and it's mostly, they're trying to be very like uh, mean-spirited about it, but in reality, it's because their feelings are hurt. So I don't pity them for that. Anyways, all right, let's go to Aquarius. Oof, we got cards flying out already, Aquarius. Oh, and we got exactly three cards. All right, let's get right into it. Aquarius, you have the death card, major transformation. This is the realization of all things must come to an end, but with endings, also new beginnings are forming. New beginnings, new path is coming through for you. You're being guided towards the right direction. You may be dealing with the Scorpio as well. The next card here is the ruler of wands. So this is a king of wands, fire energy. You're being inspired, you're being pushed to really push yourself to the limit, Aquarius, whether it's in relationships, the fear of commitment, like push through that, and you're going to be able to, to be able to fully experience what genuine authentic happiness is. When it comes to finances and career, if you feel like you've been not having a lot of time or you've been pulled one way or another, now is the time to really like meet that challenge and work as hard as you possibly can because there's major breakthroughs that are coming through for you here with this king of wands and finally your star this is your energy aquarian this is you being illuminated this is your path making sense this is after all that hard work and hard determination finally i'm being able to see the results of that and it was so worth it the star card can also represent the astrological alignments that we're currently dealing with um, that of Saturn being in your sign, putting extra work, extra effort, but finally with Jupiter being able to receive those blessings that come through for you. So again, beautiful type of energy here. All right. Now let's go to finally Pisces. <laughs> Give me some of the predictions for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of December, 2021, all the way to December, sorry, all the way to January, 2022. I see Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus from now, December 2021, all the way to January 2022. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Some of the predictions for them, please. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of December 2021, all the way to January 2022. All right, here we go. Thank you, Spirit. All right, your first card here is the Nine of Wands. This is putting or dropping or throwing the towel in. You're done. You're not putting effort where it's not well received. You're not going to uh, continue pushing and pulling through for those that are not reciprocating your energy. You're done dealing with fake friends. You're done dealing with fake lovers, people that are temporary. You There's almost like a building of confidence here that's happening for you guys. I see you guys pushing out a lot of people in your life that are toxic or that are not beneficial to you anymore. This is you finding your true power and your true worthiness. And unfortunately, it's been through uh, difficulty, but the beauty in it is that now you truly know what you deserve and what you don't deserve, and you're not settling for anything less than that. The next card here is the Conqueror of Swords. So this is communication that's coming through. I want to say for some of you guys, this could indicate a person that you decided to walk away from is coming back around. It's like now all of a sudden they're willing to put that effort or they're wanting to get your attention or they're trying to make something up to you. I'm going to be honest, this is directly connected to those of you guys that 
um, either you were deceived or lied to uh, in the recent past. And I feel like, keep in mind, we are going to be going through Venus retrograde. So that is definitely going to highlight a lot of past lovers coming back around. And that's the type of energy that I'm sensing here. And the Sovereign of Cups. So yeah, Queen of Cups, this is your energy, Pisces. Stay in your power. I'm going to be honest with you. If there is a lover that is returning, do not give them the opportunity. I mean, unless you genuinely feel like you still love them and you they can make it up to you in some way or they can show your proof to you that they really want you in their life, then that's up to you to make that decision. But here with the Queen of Cups, this is like, know your power, know what you deserve. You're a queen you don't, or a king. You don't get off your throne um, unless it's necessary. It's like they need to cater to you at this point in time because in the past, they didn't either appreciate that or it didn't reciprocate your energy. So this is about staying in your power from now all the way to January. Anything that you're wanting to manifest into your life, it starts with self-worth, meaning if you're wanting to get that higher elevation of job, you need to feel within your heart that that's what you deserve. Because if you don't, it's going to be very difficult to manifest. So it is about working on yourself, building on yourself, and uh, basically self-worth. It is knowing, the all-knowing, the all-understanding that I am worthy, I deserve it because I am a good person, because I give to others, because of whatever uh, your situation is. But it starts with self-worthiness. And again, we go back to that past lover returning. Uh, for some of you guys, this is a test to how much you love yourself and how much you treasure yourself and how much you consider your worthiness. Should you entertain that or should you show them the door? By showing them the door, there is self-growth in that which means the next cycle or the next chapter in your life when we talk about relationships is going to be more of a person that meets your vibration of that, of knowing what you deserve and knowing that you deserve nothing but the best. And that is exactly what they're going to be bringing or offering to you. But it starts with yourself, Pisces. Beautiful energy, very powerful, empowering type of energy. All right, my lovelies, I hope that you guys enjoyed these ratings, it does take a lot of effort and a lot of energy when I connect on a psyche level uh, with the spirits that I work with to be able to channel this uh, for these messages for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you did, uh, definitely comment below and let me know. I'll try to integrate more of these readings um, on my channel. I try not to do it so much only because there's a difference between channeling and psychically picking up on these energies. And it's different types of energy, different types of spirits. <laughs> so um, I just want to let you guys know, if you do enjoy, definitely comment below and maybe we'll integrate a little bit more of these um, for you guys. Anyways, happy holidays to all of you guys. I wish you guys all the best. Love you guys and we'll see each other soon. Bye.